Hi, I wanted to quickly demonstrate how interactions work on VisionOS. So the main interaction that you'll see used throughout the system is with eye tracking, which means that you're just looking at what you want to interact with and pinch with your hand like this and whatever you're looking at is going to be selected. Now it's important to do this as an actual pinch gesture and not with another finger that won't work, not with your entire hand that won't work, but really pinching. This works with both hands. And what's the key difference to other headsets is that it also works when your hand is barely in view. Like I can interact from basically down here. Now this is not only something you can use in the operating system, but also something that works inside of applications. For example, in this bow and arrow game by Needle, we can enter VR and then use our hands to produce a bow and to dra draw and shoot arrows. Holding the bow is a little bit weird because we can't just grab it, we have to pinch to hold it. So we pinch and then the bow comes to our hand and then we can draw arrows. And what you can see in the video is that the operating system overlays my hands on top of the virtual content and we can only move the bow while we're doing this gesture. So this is called transient pointers and they are basically pointers that are only active, like the application can only see the pointers once I start interacting. So if I'm doing this, then the application has no idea where my hands basically are in this mode. There is another way to interact with the hands data, but for this to work, we need to enable the WebXR hand input module in the WebKit feature flags. And in other applications, we can use like monster hands also from Needle. We can use that hand tracking data. to actually show like the full-blown hand models that we're getting from the operating system. So here in this mode, we're basically getting full skeletal data from the operating system instead of transient pointers like in that other mode. So currently that is a choice that each application has to make on basically does it want to request hand tracking data or not. And with Needle, we're trying or we're making both modes work seamlessly. So if hand tracking data is available, then we're using that. If it's not available, then we're using transient pointers. 